Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to more Spider-Man. This is New Game Plus, Episode 12. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic evening. You're ready to swing in action with more of the spectacular Spider-Friends. Uh, I don't really remember what we were doing today. I believe the last of the um, fire quest for Wraith and uh, more of the story. So, that's the plan. Your uh, YouTube short will be up at 11.30 p.m. Uh, we'll be plugging that at 11.30, so it's about an hour from now. Um, so just bear in mind. And uh, let's do this. So we're on this. Market folks involving the lizard. I gotta admit, I was really hoping that was one big bad who was firmly in the rear view. But lucky as ever that our two Spider Men were on site to save the day. Spider Man the Younger pulled some impressive water acrobatics along the way. Spider Man the Older, well, am I a broken record yet on this new black suit scares the bejesus out of me? Well, fine, I am, and it does. Come at me in the comments if you want, but I am putting it out there. This new black suit thing, whatever it really is, it ain't no good. You can quote me. All right, kids, Danik out. Okay. So, fire quest. Should be here. Which I didn't think you could do this one. I guess you can. Man, I was hoping to give MJ some alone time, but I'm beat. Time to head home for a little rest. I wonder what she decided for her article. I have no idea what you said, Pete. I don't know what you said, man. Uh, forgot to wash the sheets at the house again. Uh. Main mission available. I'm busy. Oh, this isn't the um the school. This is the other one. This is uh She went in without me. Oh, hurry up. I'm going after her. No. They're still breathing. But I don't know if the flame is going to be so lucky. Not after Yuri said how dangerous he is. We have no idea what their Crimson Hour Doomsday event is, and she just runs in. All right, let's party. So we're going to try to go through this level as quickly as possible using uh, our spider gadgetry. Because we can. Trust the flame and... You can't hide now, Spider-Man! Whoops. Seriously? Hey, why is my gadgetry off? That's weird. Why you no know, like fun? There's no stopping the prophecy. Uh, where are Oh, there you are. Wait, where are you? Oh. That can't be everybody. I thought there was more on the roof. That's why people probably thought this was Xavier's school, is because of the big X on there. But this is not Xavier's Institute. K. 
Okay, now how do I get inside again? Um. There. Why did you disable all my gadgetry? Take these guys out before they alert the others. Whatever. That's not a good rumble. Um. Just need to get to her. Where'd you go, Yuri? Oh, okay. I'm overthinking it. Why, Pete, why are you crawling over this stuff, man? What's going on? Oh. Anyone hear me? Anyone? That's a map of Brooklyn. Is that where the Crimson Hour is supposed to happen? Um, can you guys hear everything okay? With the, um... The game, the audio, all that other stuff, or is it wicked quiet? Let me know. These walls are just falling apart. Don't you find any other evidence here? What's Oscorp got to do with all of this? A warehouse? Scrapyard, parking lot, library? What's the connection? Why Brooklyn? Wasn't there one more thing to scan in this room? If I remember correctly. Thought there was one more thing to scan. My Emperors, I've heard some concern amongst you recently concerning our losses at the clinic. My concern is that you thought of them as losses at all. Those embers who fell revealed themselves to be And though we miss them, we have only grown stronger without them. So, when little Miss Yuri and the Fool's Beacon come to visit us, you show them how worthy we are. Trust the flame, or everything burns. Who is this guy? Is that it? That's it. Okay, now we can bug out. No! What now? I want this cleared as soon as possible. What happened to the roof team? You know you Get it together. The flame needs us. Gotta watch out for the wraith. Clear that rubble now! Now! Yuri's behind that rubble. I take out these cultists, I can get to her. And the flame. Wait. Alright, thanks, Leroy. They're making explosives here. Yeah, we gotta push the likes, They're buddy. Waiting for the Crimson Hour. They wanna call <clears> it. <throat> it. Cannot be admitted this way fast enough. And hardly any gadgetry. Get 
Don't you know? Well, that was a delayed reaction. Where's this crimson hour? Is Brooklyn the target? Whoops. What do you people want? It's now what we want. It's about space. About what? That's what you get. Wait, nobody else? Huh. Never mind then. Now, where was the door that was all blocked off? Never mind, I found it. said anything about Oscorp Stop The fool's beacon himself as I prophesied No I knew you had it in you Yuri There that'll keep pressure on it until I can Bad Yuri. If you want the flame, you're gonna have to go through me. Then you're about to swallow a lot of blood. Here's Webb in your eye. No. Getting all tripped up there, Yuri. The flame needs to die, Spider-Man. The longer he lives, the more people will get hurt. Oh. All right, good job, guys. You're at 60. Keep going. Now, let's uh, shoot for 70 by the end of this fight if we can. Oops. Not doing too well. This path you're on never ends well, Yuri. Thanks, Silver Sonic. Appreciate it. Trust you? What about you trusting me? Hard to trust the lady with the uh, sickle and chain. You didn't find her body. You didn't see his face. No, I can't even imagine. But that still doesn't make this right. Oh. I am not letting him get away again. I can't. Well, that's too bad, Yuri. Because I don't die. It's not like I want to free him! No! You just want to go halfway! Half seas! You're lucky Pete pulls his punches. Congratulations. You get to live out the rest of your life behind bars. And I owe it all to you. Uh oh. Calm down, Yuri. Get out of my way. No, I don't think I will. You, know you need I a timeout, Missy. I'm trying to do the right thing. As if you have any idea what that means. You hope and try. I act. And you're never wrong. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Through a barrel of the face. Nope.
Oh, I, I, I thought I gummed you up. Now I did. Uh, I can't. You made me see sparks. And I grew up. Not the authority on justice. She's got you there, Pete. You oh. You're just a man in a and what are you? Mary Poppins? your priorities because I'd rather lose sleep over the one person I killed than all the ones I didn't save I know my priorities I I am not going to let the flame hurt anyone else I'll find him somehow Find it somehow, some way. Three will peek. Fast travels now available. Woot woot. All right, wake up. It's time to do this level. Let's go. Time for more of the unstoppable force that is known as Mary Jane Watson. Up. Oh. We as a society need to have a collective reckoning with the notion of heroes. As I warned, a monster we were told was cured has returned to wreak havoc, and Spider Man failed to protect us. Once again, Dr. Kurt Connors, the lizard, rampages through our streets. The good doctor drags Spider-Man around town in one of the most pathetic displays of heroism I've ever witnessed. Was it heroic to destroy priceless artifacts in the museum? Was it heroic to demolish city blocks, damaging infrastructure, and costing taxpayers millions? What about the dozens of law enforcement officers injured trying to solve a problem Spider-Man created? Of course, he wasn't alone in this panoply of parlousness. The hunters continue to run roughshod, unchecked and unheeded. The level of devastation brought upon the denizens of this fair city is too much to bear. We've had enough. When will our elected officials step up and do their jobs? We can't keep waiting. By then, it will be too late. Thank you, JJ, for those wonderful words of wisdom. <clears throat> Good job, guys. You're at 70. <coughs> Excuse me. Means 30 to go. That's the story I was telling you about. I wanted to get your thoughts. Looks amazing, MJ. Can't wait to read it. Wait. You're still in the suit. I thought Connors was going to help you get it off. What about Harry? Sorry, can we do this tomorrow? 
Just so beat from lizard rag. Petey's tired. Time for the unstoppable Mary Jane. Oh, Copy that. Ha ha! Copy nothing. Can't go out the windows. Downstairs is my only shot. Do 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 do. Where, where no one can Peter? defeat Mary Jane Watson. Hey, you've reached P. Uh, it's good enough. Leave a message. Ha 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 ha. I'm unstoppable cause I've got my little gun You can't get me cause you paused to attack or something Meh Please don't squeak Thank you All shall fall facing OP Watson Do, 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 do. Web shooters. Perfect. Boy. Ow! Hey, Joseph. Ow! No way! Mary Jane died. That's not possible. Web shooters. That's not plausible. Take the Spider-Man mask. I'm still gonna stab you. I'll be down here any second. Have to get out. MJ Bond. All right, we're gonna go take everyone down now. No more, Mister Miss Nice Mary Jane. My voice is super cute. Uh, thank you. It's time for MJ. You went down the next street over. I'm on it. Get on that. If I don't find Pete before they do. You do, you Pete. Where am I going? So long. Anyone else want some? That's what I thought. Let's see. <laughs> I'm on the way. Don't worry. Wait, is that everybody? Oh, no, I missed somebody. Here's web in your eye. I'm sorry, but it's too late for you. By the time you recover, Watson's already there. Which way am I supposed to be going? Oops. Uh... Catch up to Peter. And which way did Pete go again? Peter! Peter! Pete headed toward the next street over. Maybe I can cut through. We took out H2. Unclear. Just 
Show you a distraction. Can I not bust through the gates? You don't see me. Maybe do see me. Eh. Never mind. Surprise, hunters! What do you think was gonna happen? Nap time. That's right, you got this, MJ. You can take it. You can tank it. Alright, guys, 75 out of 100. Let's get to an 80. Five away from 80. Tell me to shush. Whoopsies. Stay quiet. He's, He's like, okay, maybe I will video. listen now. Pete's up ahead in that new construction. He comes back this way. Make sure you do not hit him with more than two bullets. Wait, which way does he want me to be going? I think we need more. Two bullets. Mind me, just kind of hanging out in your backyard. Is it, like, not possible for me to go in people's yards? Another live stream tonight? I don't know. Maybe. Pete's up ahead in that new construction. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. He's changing. I think we'll need more. Two bolts. Surprise! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, you saw me hiding behind the shrubbery? No! Got her. Easy. Stupid shrubbery. Thought the shrubbery would keep me safe. Apparently, I was wrong. Hmm. <clears throat> now what? Thought you could creep through this stuff. I think Pete went this way. That's what you get.
Where's the dude's head? OP! <laughs> like, that would work! Oh, uh, well. Alright, I'm out. That would not work. Alright guys, good job on 80, let's go 90. Let's try to get uh, nine more likes and I don't know, uh, five minutes if we can. We're um, unfortunately we're past the thirty-minute mark. Who? <laughs> thought MJ was journalist mode. I don't know. Oh, no, you don't, she says. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. I got all three of them to stick on one wall. That's something. That's definitely something. Mary Jane, murderer. Yeah! <laughs> Ha 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 You just got Janed. Mary Janed. How do you like that? Well, we finished that level relatively quickly. Anyone else? 
stick with me. The only thing that can defeat Mary Jane, another woman, or not. Peter, I need you to come. Miles, look up. Go after him. I'm late. The hell's going on with Pete? He's not himself. I think it has something to do with that suit. It's called a symbiote, and it's an alien. What? Like he's wearing an alien? Just help him, Miles. Please. I'm on it, MJ. All right. I'm on it. Miles, time. <laughs> help him out, Miles. Help out old Pete. Woohoo! Whoa! I don't have time for you guys. He just threw a manhole cover at me. Are you sure it was at you? Down. Pretty sure. Down. Outside the Queensboro tunnel. There are hunters everywhere. I'm heading over there now. Don't let the hunters chase him away again. You got it. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that's rude. Spider-Man, stop! What's going on? Talk to me! He's having an identity crisis, Miles. I thought he was just being weird before. But this is way different. It's like he's not even there. Lockdown range! Well, that didn't happen the way I wanted it to. No, I don't think so. Whoops. Hey guys, we're almost at the 40 minute mark and we're still not at 100 likes yet. Let's try to get those likes up if we haven't already. Thank you. It helps out a lot. It also helps me uh, stay invested in the stream. go. I thought there was a guy here. Oh, there you are. Um, okay. Hello? Anyone here? Any more? We good? Somebody got stuck in a wall, didn't they? Uh, 
isn't this supposed to end so that the next cutscene plays? That's not good. Someone may be stuck in a wall. Hello? Bad guy. There you are. Everybody tell Miles what to do. Miles, do it now! Fine! MJ, MJ, are you okay? Yeah. But I don't see Pete. Hang on. Resident Evil MJ. We just call her Claire. Wait. The tunnel is closed. I talk. Oh no. Peter. Where are you going? Going to a place that's going to remove his plot armor for a little bit. Whoop. Oh, probably just have to go through that door. Please, don't I? Stop! You're gonna flood the tunnel! Flood the tunnel, Spider-Man! Do it! Or Jill, yeah. Claire or Jill. The question is, would MJ be more of a Claire or a Jill? What's her personality like? Doosh. And this is where MJ messes up. I know you're still in there, Peter. Can I like my own stream? Only once. Nope, oh, back to Miles. Any updates, MJ? Everyone say cheese. Whoops. How's everything going in there? I found Peter, but he's asleep. Is that good? I don't. Put the I camera don't... away, came. Can you hold off the hunters for a little while longer? I'll try. Ow. Oh. Well, boys. You know, we're making a lot of noise. Police will be here soon. Just giving y'all a heads 
<laughs> That's one way to do that. Ow. Smack. Dude, they're shooting missiles at us. Wouldn't you much rather deal with the guys shooting missiles? Heat seeking missiles. Ouch! No, I don't think so. Oops. Oh no! Sorry, Miles. Alright guys, we're past the 40 minute mark. Let's get those likes up. Any updates, MJ? How's everything going in there? I found Peter, but he's asleep. Is that good? I don't I'm Nah, I don't think so. Goodbye. Can you hold off the hunters for a little while longer? I'll try. The stream can only do well with engagement. Thank you very much, guys and gals. 120 is your next goal. You know, we're making a lot of noise. Police will be here soon. <sighs> Just giving y'all a heads up, you're gonna have an audience when you lose in a minute. Someone's gonna go sleepy by in the next couple minutes. Oh, boys. Boom! Right, where are you guys shooting from? Ouch. No worries, I got gadgets. Bad dog. Out of the way, civilian needs help. Spider away!
Uh oh, Miles. Open it. Pete, wake up. Wake up. This might sting a little. This is a bad idea, MJ. No guy likes being tased in the morning. MJ committed assault. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Domestic abuse. And then she did it again. Repeat offender. <laughs> Woohoo! Do, 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 do. I meant she just casually strolls through the door. I was always waiting for him to come through that open door like, that door's open! We searched the whole tunnel. He is gone. For now. <laughs> but he will come to me soon enough. But he will come to me soon. For I have leverage. Pete's like, wow, what a great day! It's a beautiful morning. How did I end up sleeping on a park bench? And why does it feel like I had the best sleep of my life? Weird dreams, though. Weird dreams, he says. Harry left another message. Pete, I really need that suit back. Dad's working on a new cure, but I don't know. Bring it back, please. Hugo Web Alert. New article from MJ. Wait, she published before I could read it? Oh, what's our new color scheme we have? It's not all that interesting. This is a red and meh. Nah. Wait, no, I didn't want that. I was looking. I was browsing. I was just browsing. Oh, I see what's happening now. So, this one, and we have to get the other one. Other one is unlocked when you hit level what?
Oh, unlocks at level 7, okay. Unlocks at level 8. Unlocks at level 6. I see. Hey, Dana Cubs, did, uh, anyone happen to lose a 60-foot lizard? No? Because the city of New York just did. Seriously, it's just gone. And you want to know the spooky thing? Two people went into that sewer, the lizard and Spider-Man, but only one came out. So what happened in there? What did Spider-Man do? <sighs> Folks, look, I know I sound like he who must not be named, <coughs> Jonah. <coughs> And believe me, I, I feel just as hinky about that as you do, but we trust Spider-Man to look out for us, to do it the right way. What if he starts doing it the wrong way? What then? I'm sorry to get dark, folks, but those are the times. So let's all hope whatever journey Spider-Man is on, he finds his way back to the light. All right, guys and gals, whoops, it is 11.30. That means it's time to push the YouTube short. Tonight's YouTube short is called Heavy Hitters. So all you guys have to do, click that like, go over to the YouTube short, leave a comment, say hello, whatever you want. Remember, you can click on the link as much as you want. It counts as a new view. I'll be back after about six minutes. I have to go wake Amber up to make some bread because she wanted to be woken up around this time. I'm going to grab a quick uh, brisk iced tea. And then I'll be back in six minutes with the rest of your stream. So mods, push the uh, short. Guys, go watch the short. There's about 70 of you guys here. We can get a jump on the short to pick up uh, views. And uh, as well as we can try to make up for last night's short, which did terrible at 1130. Um, only got about 160 views after an hour. Let's see you guys step it up tonight because that would be a big help. All right, so the short is up. Good luck, guys and gals. I will be back in about uh, five minutes or so.
All right, guys and gals, good job. You've gotten the short up to close to 70 views after 10 minutes. That's not bad. Um, remember, the first uh, goal for the YouTube short is uh, 100 views within 30 minutes. So not bad. Um, so we're going to go do some Peter Parker-related stuff now. Uh, I believe we can do Pete stuff. No? Yes? No? Maybe so? Uh, we're going to go take on these bases here. Because we probably should. Anyway. And Amber is up. I woke her up so she could make her homemade bread. So she's making homemade bread. You may hear her in the kitchen. What? Yeah, so she didn't have to throw her dough away because it's not sanitary to have the dough be around for too long. So it's just in time, the dough is okay, and it's time to make the bread. <laughs> uh, so mods will be um, pushing the short every 15 minutes or so, and I think you guys should be able to get uh, 100 views on the short relatively quickly. Love to see it do even better than that, but we'll, we'll just we'll do what we can. Boom. You're on the ground. You're grounded. You're grounded. You're grounded. You're grounded. Bye, Mr. Sniper. Ha! <laughs> ah, do you like that? Is that fun? Huh. Come and get some. I'm talking to the bad guys. More bad guys. Goodbye. Nice. I bet there's some juicy hunter gossip around here that I can find. I will always quip. I will always quip. Well, well, well. Let's see what this base holds. Can't call for reinforcements if I cut the comms. So, so um, just to give you guys a quick provides. update, uh, what streams will be happening tomorrow. It does not look like Ace Attorney or Freedom Planet is happening tomorrow. Um, Freedom Planet is at 8.50, Ace Attorney is at 8.70. Uh, Ace Attorney hasn't gotten any additional views since uh, the stream ended at 7 o'clock. So... Bring it back. Please. I wonder if Harry really needs the suit. I mean, if I keep it, the city's a better place. Everyone benefits. Everybody wins when Spider-Man's at his best, right? And Norman's a smart guy. I'm sure he'll figure out a different cure for Harry. Whoop. Okay, so we've got another thing to do. Did the dough rise? So both Freedom Planet Episode 4 and Episode 55 of Ace Attorney need 200 views each. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen because Ace Attorney hasn't moved at all. At all. So there will be a Spider-Man, or not Spider-Man, there will be a, um, a Versus of Star Wars tomorrow, I believe, at 4 o'clock. Oh, Guardian. Hopefully there will be another Spider-Man. Um, that all depends on how many views it gets. I mean, I only we we shoot for a uh, thousand views a stream, like either after or before. Yeah, if not, I have other things I can stream tomorrow. It's the reason why we do that is because the streamer doesn't get paid unless they get a thousand views. Um, YouTube CPM. And, like, uh, pay model does not pay the streamer, no matter if they stream for two hours or three hours or whatever. If you don't hit their view requirement, you make zero dollars. 
So we can't afford to, you know, have that as a business model for our stream. So we have to push for either a thousand views after the stream is archived, which then we get VOD or, um, yeah, it's known as VOD CPM, which is considerably lower than a live stream, but it's better than nothing. Um, and that's, of course, that has to do with shadow banning, actual shadow banning, real shadow banning. Not when YouTubers complain, oh, I'm shadow banned. It's like, no, you have no idea what real shadow banning is. You have no idea. Uh, the K-Wings are real shadow banned. Everyone else is just pretending they're shadow banned for attention. Because uh, real shadow banning destroys a channel or it puts it on life support. It's not a happy, fun thing where you can notify all your subscribers and be like, Help! Do this! It's like, nah. You can't, <laughs> you can't alert anybody. It's like the equivalent of drowning and like no one is there to hear your pleas of help. Like, yeah, pretty much. Pretty dark, but I mean, that's essentially what it is. Whoop. Wait, that was it? Wow, the Guardian Blind, that was real easy. Next Guardian Blind. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be streaming till at least one o'clock. One-ish. So we'll see how, how well this stream does, but just to put that in hindsight, we've been streaming for about an hour and 15 minutes, and the stream only has 500 views, so... That's not good. Uh, Spider-Man usually does much, much better than that. Like, after an hour, we're at like 700 views, so it's very easy to get a thousand. Nope. I'm guessing by the time we end the stream around 1 o'clock, we'll be, if I'm lucky, we'll be close to 800. Probably knock out some hunters. Still no location for the base. That last blind. Uh, Amber's in the background cooking bread. She says she's not cooking bread, but I can tell she's cooking bread. It's everyone's favorite sour push, JJ. Hate, it's obstruction of traffic, and right now, due to certain webheads, I'm being forced to podcast from my car because they thought it would be hilarious to cave in the Queensboro Tunnel in a skirmish with the hunters. I'm sure they're having a good old chuckle thinking about the thousands of commuters they've upended today. Imagine going through life without a care for anyone else in the world. No sympathy. No regard. Hey, idiot, knock it off! You think I'd be sitting here if I could move? Why don't you get out and direct traffic then? Better yet, go dig out the tunnel. Uh, where was I? Oh, in compassion. They laugh. In times like these, we're called upon to be better. Set an example and be the change we want to see in the world. I'm moving! I am moving! You s***! <laughs> Degenerate! He's fun at parties. I want ocean whitefish. No, Darn. Want turkey and giblets? Turkey and giblets does not sound appetizing. Up. Yep. Um, while they're eating, little one, can you open the uh, window in the office to help circulate the air? Um, open the window in the office, honey, so that the smoke will help dissipate upstairs. Boink.
No, oh, the other way, Spidey. There you go, bye boys. Uh, yeah, I guess so, cause the door's open. Oof. No, it's okay. Bob boys. It's a party now. Boink. Hi, bread girl. And by making bread at home, you can solve the world's problems. Bread does make people happy. You better feed my need for info. Saves money. <laughs> makes you happy. Here in the financial district. Feeds you. Well, with these hunters, it's That's definitely a fair market. Here. 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 No, what? What was I doing? I'm out. I don't know. I erased like a four or five bots for uh, oh, the shorts. To have a base. All right, guys. After 22 minutes, you were able to get 100 views on the short. Let's uh, push for uh, 200. So that's another 100 views in 30 minutes. So. Keep it up, everybody. Remember, if you've already watched the short, you can watch the short again by clicking the link that the mods have uh, distributed in the chat. And that counts as a new view. It is not tied to your IP, at least for now. So we're going to abuse the YouTube system because why not? Eventually, YouTube will fix it so that shorts will be tied to the IP address and one click will count for one view a day. But right now, <laughs> doesn't do that, so... Exploit! <laughs> no. Yes! Looks like you're going underground. Be like Splunking. And me without my headlamp. The data from the blind no, no, no. says this is some kind of greenhouse. Aw, oh, the hunters have a hobby. That's kind of cute. Not that cute. Don't hitters? expect any bouquets. Yeah, more big hitters is the name of the short. It shall be done, my master. Remember, we can alter the sprinkler's source to an herbicide to wipe out what they're growing. Good thing I have whatever the opposite of a green thumb is. Let's kill some plants. Make sure you turn off their relay. We don't want them calling in backup. Hunter Garden. Everything I have heard. That's yeah, called more big hitters. Okay, uh, so what's definitely happening tomorrow, Star Wars, Final Fantasy, probably not Ace Attorney, maybe Spider-Man, we'll see. It all depends, like, how well Spidey does. I would love to do another Spider-Man stream tomorrow. I'd love tomorrow to be Star Wars and Final Fantasy and Spider-Man. It'd be all the PlayStation games tomorrow. No. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't, because uh, one one Switch game, uh, Star Wars. Playing Star Wars, talking about Star Wars. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. -do. This dude looks like he's trouble. Surprise! <laughs> he's done. You're done. You're out of here, son. <laughs> it is late. Da -da -da. That's the valve that'll add herbicide. Ganky. Sleepy times incoming, hunters. The gangster. Oh. Who dares? Danger. 
danger. Oh, well, that's what happens when I drift off a little bit. Danger! My bad. I don't think I'll be doing that one. I just don't have an enemy tonight. Boink. No, it's a very bad thing. I'm my way, fools. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yep, John Doe, Joe, John Doe, Drago, all those other people have been really good. I'm very good with the sword, guys. Late night shift. Yeah. The midnight run. Ow. Whoa! Don't be mean, man. I'm just that good at predicting stuff. That's why Amber doesn't like going to the movies with me and other things because I end up talking about the movie before it even the scene. As the scene is playing out, I can figure out how it's going to go, and it bothers Amber. I've spoiled more TV shows, movies, books on tape. That's why Amber goes to the movies on her own mostly. I have no fun to take to the movies. I always tell friends or somebody, well, I mean, it's not likely that's going to happen five minutes later. Oh, wow, that's how it happened. Whoopsie. <laughs> My bad. No, I, uh, I can see easy, predictable plot threads, and I'm just like, man. That's, I think that's why I like watching a lot of, like, uh, uh, foreign entertainment, is because, especially, like, Japanese and Korean stuff, I can't really predict how it's gonna go. It's like, I think something is going really well, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that person was the villain all along, or why did that person just randomly go up and stab that other person? This is great! What? I did not see that coming. What a twist! That's the valve that add herbicide to the sprinklers. I remember I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be like one of those rom-coms where this the first girl that he meets, like this is the one he's gonna end up like you know getting together with." And it's like, nope. She tries to kill him with a ninja sword, and then she dies in the first episode. I was like, "Holy crap! What?" They they did all the telltale signs that would be the girl, and it's like, nope, she's straight up evil. Never saw it coming. I can't even remember the name of that anime. That was several years ago, though. Huh? Oh, because of the smoke? It just has to do with the oven. It's terrible. <laughs> So much smoke. So much smoke. And Lord should just replace. So, but they won't.
smoke. If the smoke alarm was working, it would be going off right now. Yeah. So we have to get them in by law. And then we have to be like, oh, huh, that's weird. We notice our smoke alarm hasn't been chirping. And then they'd be like, oh, well, thank you for letting us know. It's like, in reality, it hasn't been working since Christmas. It's okay. Yeah, it's because the stove is so bad that it's always smoking. This is why smoking is bad for you. So much smoke. Ding! Does that actually hurt them? Aha! It's go time, suckers! Famo! I'm gonna hurt you really, really, really bad. Boink. Say goodnight, Yogi! Who else wants some more of this? Step up! Ow! No fairy head guns. How did that go for me? Not well. You shot me with bullets. How dare you? It's my only weakness. Your name is Wendy's Webs. What? My name is not Wendy. Hmm. Why does Lex have such a great voice? Lex has a great voice. That was weird. The guy was stuck in the wall. That was really weird. Yeah, after it turns the house into Smokey the Bear. I know it's better, like, homemade bread is better than store-bought, but... Who just shot me, and why? Oh, there's more of these clowns. No. Shoot him down. Shoot him down now. No, I don't think I will. I'm sorry I can't be OP like Mary Jane. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Mm. That's why women need help opening the door sometimes. Because if we were left open the door on our own, we would accidentally rip the door off the hinges. And we'd be like, oops. That's why women have to wait for men to open the door, because we're so, we're so strong. We would actually bend the metal with the door. <laughs> mm. That's why we need help carrying our books and stuff, because 
when we're when we're carrying our books, our hands gripping the books might actually our thumbs might bust through all the pages of the books and accidentally rip the books apart. Okay, while we're keep, keep your example short, honey. All right, guys. So after 36 minutes, we're at 146 views for the YouTube short. We are close to our 200 goal, like 100, basically 100 views every uh, 30 minutes for a YouTube short is pretty good. This fool is just hanging out up there. Now can you find out anything more about the? Now we can find out if there's stuff. The house is not going to burn down. It's going to be a little annoying though. Here we go. Not annoying that it doesn't burn down. Never mind. What's this? You seek a challenge to fill the rush of fear again. I will give you something to fear, Father. <laughs> uh, your brother made such promises too. Go on then. Terrify me. Anyone who gets in my way will suffer the same fate as Nedorochi. Is that so? And your mother? She was in the way. I assume Vladimir was no problem for you either. I live for the hunt. If you really are the one. Let us see if you can leave Volgograd unscathed. Oh my god. His entire family. All dead. Don't know why we expected anything else from Craven. Good riddance. The city's safe. Tanakistans, tolerators, and haters. I have some news. Okay, so that's... Oh, dark. never mind. Spider-Man was seen straight up terrorizing a neighborhood in Queens. A witness on site reports he moved like something out of a nightmare. Ugh, listen, the, the hunters are bad. No joke. But a possessed Spider-Man? That's nuclear no good. A and worse, the other Spider-Man, nowhere to be found. The comments are open, folks. Let us know what you know. Any sightings of the younger Spider-Man, let me have him. He's got to be okay. All right, what to do now, Mr. Parker? You don't have anything else to do with the story. Okay. Let's go have the awkward moment between Harry and Peter where they fight. Give me the suit! No, I don't want to give you the suit. Hugo Web Alert. New article from MJ. Wait, did you publish before I could read it? Where is... Where, where... Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I need that suit back. Pete. Um. What do you remember about last night? I just remember feeling tired. You're not yourself. That suit is changing you. This suit is the only reason I'm still alive. Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? Why don't you pop some more pills and say what you're really feeling? Hey, don't. 
I am busting my ass out there trying to save you, and this is what I get? I said don't. I saw your story. I tried to tell you about that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I can't lose this job. Your job is to write the truth. I did. The truth is, I'm the hero here, not you. How was your visit with Harry? Don't worry, Harry's gonna get better. Thank you. For being his friend. Watching you two grow up together. You're like a son to me. I am so proud of the man you've become. Thanks, Mr. Osborne. Uh, I, I gotta run. A lot of work to do. And as usual, looks like I gotta do it myself. Peter, where is Miles? He didn't come home last night and he's not answering my call. <sighs> Hello? I'm at my office. Tell him to come see me. Now. Why can't anyone take care of themselves? It's always up to me. Isn't it weird that. Hmm. Miles' mom is allowed to look like an attractive woman, but MJ has to look however MJ looks. Oh, I thought Peter's grandma was visiting. Oh, that's Mary no. Jane. Now Peter has to go get yelled at by his friend's mom. Yeah. Where's my son? Nobody can tell Billy Yuri what to do. The lady tells Peter what to do. I'll go look for your son when I'm good and ready, stupid. And then later he's like, he's like, hey, my behavior before, I just want you to know, it was totally unacceptable. And she's like, yes, I know it was, but it's okay now because my son is home. But next time, never talk to me like that. But he doesn't really talk to her incredibly rude no, here. I'm That's sure the funny thing. Fine. It's like, my Can gosh. Give me a call if you see him. Yeah, Microaggressiveness. <laughs> I've been calling you for hours. Nothing. You know Miles has been hunting Lee. I'll find him. I'm calling the hospital. I said I'd find him. 
I've got this under control. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man. Not school, not his friends. How to help you. Go help him. I mean, that is just... She, she gets mad at him for just saying, I'll find him. It's like... That's that's not an altercation. That's just how New Yorkers talk. How did I get here? My gosh, California people are like some of the most sensitive people on the planet. I'll find him. Ah, my feelings! I took that personally. It's like really? That's 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 their scene together where he was bully. It's like give me a break. I've seen bigger altercations outside of a, like, uh, Sabret's hot dog stand in the city. Over mustard or ketchup. That's nothing. Do, do, do you understand how tame that is? And, like, I've seen people that are like, Michael Aggressive Peter Parker is... I hate that part of the game. It's like, he's not even really being rude. He's just like, I'll find him. He, it's a, He's supposed to be rude, though, because he's, he's Venom. Yeah, he didn't even he didn't break anything in her office. He didn't do anything. It's just like, I'll find him. It's like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, go for it. Thanks. There. That cleared a small path. You know, and then afterwards she's like, "You will find him." From that little exchange, it's like, that's a fight? My gosh, people are so soft these days. That is that's not a fight. Hello? That's like a discussion. It's not even a discussion. These all prisoners. Now I understand why people no. say stuff like no. when... This this is exactly what happened. Last night we were on the stream, and I swear, this is what happened last night. Yeah. You said, I do not have any crackers for you in my soup. And I said, I just I'll bought you crackers. And you said, I ate all of them. And I said, I was like, fine, I guess I'll get you some more crackers. And then someone in the chat said, mm. literally from that, they said... Are you guys fighting again? They're like, I feel so scared. It's like... What? Because I said I was going to get more crackers? I don't understand. So because I out? thought that you already had crackers. And, and you didn't. You ate all of them. And I said, okay, I'll go get more. Fine. People said that we were having a, an argument. Oh my god. Because we were discussing if there were crackers in the house or not. That, this is exactly, like, literally, like, if anyone wants to watch the video, I mean, it was, like, last night's stream, I, I didn't even address the person because I just, I just erased their comment. I didn't even address it. I didn't even go into, like, oh, yeah, we're not in an argument, everything's fine, because it seemed insane to even address it, because literally there was no argument. Do you, you don't even remember anything. Like, it was like, you were just saying, like, yeah, I ate all my wheat thins. I was like, which, and then I said, which kind do you want? Ritz or wheat thins? You want me to get you crackers today? And you said, it doesn't matter what kind. And I said, okay. And that was our argument. That's not even an argument. I know. We were just talking about what kind of crackers I was going to get for soup. And I remember there was like a, if it was like oh I'm not getting you crackers I hate crackers here's, here's get a, them yourself and I threw something against the wall that would be an argument I don't really understand if you well said, that one time I don't really understand right. like you that one time that I thought the mic was muted when we really had a fight which I forget it was over finances or something it was like a year ago people were like going on social media and saying oh my gosh the way he treats her, it sounds like they're getting divorced. It's like we had an actual. That was like a real fight we had, but it didn't even last that long. It was like. It's not. I wasn't. I wasn't upset with you. I was upset oh, with some take. things in your family. What do they need? I don't even remember That's what the what fight was over. Don't even understand. I wasn't even upset with you at that point. But it's like, yeah. Sometimes I'm gonna make a mistake, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna mute the wrong thing because I mean we stream all the time. It's like I'm gonna make mistakes. Yeah, it's like, but that that's the thing. Like, if if Peter Parker was really had the black suit on, and she was like, "You will find my son," he should have yelled back at her or something. Like, if broke he was, her desk. He should have been like, "You'll, you know, you should be lucky you're still alive," or something like. He should have like threatened her. 
like or something or like yeah thrown something like you owe me councilman or something yeah yeah, yeah, something like like that you like or you like you better yeah you better do this and this if you want to see your son alive or something like threaten threaten her like that like why would you just be like okay i'm gonna go i mean he didn't even have to say words he'd be like you dare talk to spider-man that way and breaks her desk or something yeah but like last you literally, like, there was nothing happening at all. Like, you just said, I said, Whoops. I said, oh, you, you said, you said, I really need some crackers for the soup. And I said, I already got you crackers last week. And you said, yeah, I've eaten all those. And I was like, really? And you said, yeah. And I was like, mm. I said, fine, I guess I can get some more. I don't know if I'll time or not. Mm. And then, like. I don't know, like, I could just re- re-watch the stream, but it was like, nothing actually happened, we were just disgusting. it. I was like, well, maybe I can get some tomorrow, I don't know, what kind would you want? And you're just like, it doesn't matter, and I was like, okay, and I think I, I, I went upstairs, but somebody said that was an argument, because you told me which kind you wanted. I was like, what? And I just, yeah, it was just like, I'm... Yeah, it was just, I mean, there, there are so many aspects of this game sometimes when Peter's supposed to be mean and stuff and he's not being mean. Well, the reason why I guess, I guess the person thought I was, I was annoyed because I said I already went out shopping yesterday, but I guess I can go out tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see. And, like, but I literally said it in a nice way. Like, we were just having a discussion about crackers. You know what he should have done? Like, when he's leaving and she's like, you will find my son, he should have said, I fail to see how that's my problem. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if he's gonna act like, he doesn't even act like Bully McGuire, like, everybody's like, Bully Yuri, it's like, but he, he he's not even really a bully. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like, you said stuff where you've seen stuff in New York. When I lived in Massachusetts... Talk about people who have worked three jobs and are overstressed. I used to work at the Super Walmart where people from Boston and the Cape would come there. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, famous people like Aerosmith would go through there and everything like that. Walmart was huge. Yep. And I used to work the self-checkout there, and tons of people would come through there every day. Almost every day, there was another person in a business suit kicking the machine screaming at it and i had to come over and I like hate technology no because because luke this is why this is how it gets to it's like it's like this hello, is how sir. it happened hello sir um please please put your card in before you start your groceries and it's like okay i did and it's like please put your card in before you start your groceries i did please put your card in before you start your groceries i did and then they then it finally does it and they're all stressed and then it's like they're like would you like to they're like <laughs> then they're like the, the machine is so like also the voice on the machine is so mean like the woman's voice is like it's like the mother-in-law from Hades and like voice on there like the voice on those machines is like Sorry, you did not put your coin in correctly. It's like the, the voice is like literally being mean to you while while you're literally on your way to work. And half the people, because they work three jobs in Massachusetts, they're on their lunch break. They have like 10 minutes to shop. And they're like, I'm sorry, there is an error. Please wait. And it's like, so this is why people start. Like, that's why I, I usually, like, they're... Like, I end up, I used to end up, like, half of my job was just calming people down. I would just go over there, and I was like, they're like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kick the machine. They're like, I'm usually not like this. I'm just like, it's okay. This happens every day. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I usually just go, I usually, what I would usually do is just go over there. Sometimes I would scan all their groceries for them, put them in the bag, and do it really quick so they could get back to work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> like because because when people are stressed out, even normal people, if they're super stressed out, they're gonna act in nor- abnormal ways. That's all. But Peter literally has there has to be a, a way out of here. A an Some alien on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? 
Um, yeah. He's an alien and he he's supposed an alien to be grumpy like evil, and stuff. But he doesn't even he doesn't even Go act as he doesn't even act way. as a, a mean as a uh, a normal business person from Boston on on their lunch break. He acts this nicer than that. What if the know yeah, it was. He it, really needs to be meaner. Like it's not believable. It was a missed opportunity that he didn't that Yuri didn't get to use the black suit appropriately. It's just kind of like that's why I call him like. Um, Slightly annoyed Spider-Man because it's like he <laughs> slightly annoyed, slightly annoyed Spider-Man. They get some more. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just not, not very. He's not. Oh. He's still friendly. You know even what? even when he's sitting there, he's like he's letting Miles Morales' mom like go off on him, and he's just standing there and taking it in the black suit. It's like, what are you kidding me? <laughs> they should add. They should add a tear inside of a suit where he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, afterwards, like, he said, I'll find him, and he's sitting there on the steps, or whatever, of her window, and she's, like, giving him a lecture, and he's just, he's, like, I'm thinking, wait, he's in the alien suit, and he's letting, letting Miles' mom tell him off. It's, like, that would never happen with Peter in the black suit. Yeah. And it just, it wouldn't. It's, like, I mean, already his emotions are very high as it is, based on, you know... The symbiote taking over him and stuff like that. He wouldn't just politely be like, "Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and take it." It's like, break a desk or something, man. Like, show some backbone. You know, you you've also, uh, he probably holds in a lot of aggression and anger. Like, that's his chance to actually release stuff. Exactly. Like, if you if you're holding in all this aggression from people always trying to kill you all the time. Not just that. I mean, people are always making fun of him, especially J. Jonah Jameson. I really wanted yeah. him to show up in the black suit. And, oh like, yeah, and do something to JJ, like hold him outside over the over the edge of the building. Like or web him to the side of the building. Yeah, that would have been cool, Lou. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that is his chance to, like, show that all this stuff annoys yeah, him. This is Insomniac's beta version of Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, he's a beta male. Well, in the first one, he's not a beta male. In this one, he is. It's it's very, like, if you go back and you play the 2018 game, he actually has a backbone. He's funnier. This one, they, like, nerfed his personality I so much. I guarantee this was not their original vision. No, I guarantee it, they had to change it to make people less sensitive. You know, people are so sensitive these days, though. Like, every every year, people get softer and softer and softer. People do get more sensitive every year because, like... And then they freak out because they don't know how to deal with any type of, like, animosity or sarcasm or anything. It's like... It's kind of sad. It's like they have no... They have no backbone, they have no grit, they don't know how to withstand insults, they don't know how to do anything. It's like their entire world falls down when someone's mean to them. It's like, get a grip. It's like, the world's not gonna end. <laughs> it just reminds me of that, when you were playing that one Sonic game, uh... Which one? Sonic with the... I think it was the one with the wolf, uh, with the, uh... Oh my gosh, it was one that made you rage a lot. I think it would be... I mean, the Sonic, Sonic games always make me rage. Which one? The one with the uh, werehog, I think. The were Sonic Unleashed? Yeah. Like, there was a certain level on there where you kept playing it over and over again, and you were getting, like, super silent and stuff. And, like, he was asking me, like, are you okay, Amber? Are you safe? It's are you like, safe? It's like, uh, He's playing a video game! I mean... Watch out! I'm safe, but if Sonic came in here, we could probably punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. uh. He's not mad at me, he's mad at the game. Yeah, people don't get that. They don't understand. They see a gamer, and they're like, they see a gamer mad, they're like, Call 911! This man is a threat to society! Threat he's to got anger! <laughs> Luke, it's like, <laughs> from, I don't know if you ever saw that movie with Chevy Chase, where he drives, Chevy Chase. where he drives that whole way to go to that stupid, like, theme park for his family. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets there, and then the stupid mascot is like, I'm sorry, we're closed, and he, like, punches the mascot in the face. That would be like what it would be like if like you were exit. playing a game and the and the game was being really mean to you. If that, imagine somebody comes to your house with a mascot outfit on, you would probably end up pecking them. 
Oh. Daft Punk Miles. It's like, um... Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. What's Daft Punk. going on? Now they have to do their tribal rap thing. This is... Uh. We will, we will rock you. Oh. you. <laughs> Either these are guys that are like really big on tool time. You guys are going too fast. The tempo doesn't go like that. You're all disgraces. Done, he should have gone to a prison and watched how people were angry at each other there or something. Like, watch some WWE fighting or something, or I don't know. Go to a kickboxing tournament. Like, he should have gone somewhere There's where no people are aggressive because. See, aggressive. See, see. You know where he could have gone try. to find people that are aggressive? Go to a soccer match in Europe. Would be in the stands with the people watching. Where is the energy of youth? Huh? Fight. What's the guy's name death. again? Oh, Lee. Miles versus Lee. I'll die here together. Kind of, I heard that. I've heard that sometimes, like in Europe, so like how many people, people kill each other I got the here. soccer match in the stands. That's how aggressive they get when they're like cheering for the Always. All right, guys. After the first hour, you got 200 views on the short. Let's keep going. Let's get another 100. So, uh, Joggle, I believe, posted the link in the chat. Just head on over to the thing and do all that fun stuff. I, I, don't, I don't feel like he's aggressive. No. When he fights Craven later on, he gets a little bit more aggressive. But for the most part, he's too friendly neighborhood, to my taste. Like... Um, the best, even Josh Keaton's version, like, in uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, he was kind of like, his version of Spider-Man was very sarcastic in the show, and then when he got the black suit, he was, like, mean sarcastic, but you could see that his personality was changing. Yuri, you can barely tell that, you know, he's not in the black suit long enough to really get that stuff, and the story, they didn't really focus on it too much, but I really feel that both Miles and Peter in the respective games showed more emotion than Yuri did in this game. <laughs> yeah, Joseph was a slightly annoyed Spider-Man. Slightly annoyed, slightly annoyed Spider-Man. Yeah, Drago says, Luke, no, they don't, it's not when they see a gamer upset, it's when they see a gamer at all, they're like, there's a danger, there's a Yeah, I was, I saw something on Twitter today that I just lulled so hard. There's all these people freaking out over Stellar Blade, and this one lady is like, you don't understand what this game means! It means real women are going to die. Why? I was like, why? what? Oh, why would that? Why? Happen? Why would they die? They're oh. like, because unrealistic standards of beauty. It's but like it is an actual woman. Also, yeah. if that was true, then what about all the um, Sports Illustrated covers? Yeah, I was thinking when I in like, the nineties. True. Then why would they have all these models yeah. on selling like uh, you know makeup and stuff? Yeah, go ahead. In the nineties, how come Cindy Crawford and Alec McPherson and all these other people that didn't cause like mass stampede of women to die yeah. like because they wore bikinis it's like how come we haven't died from all the models on the runway and stuff like, you know why because the most oppressed group in history is gamers they always whether it's the 90s like saying that gamers are going to commit like mass crimes and that video game violence leads to like the degradation of society for like 30 years the public, the news, everybody always uses gamers to be their boogeymen. Always! I don't know why, they just do. Politicians, news agencies, um, like, parental groups, everybody always targets gamers. And now, you have infighting with fake journalists attacking gamers, and people, like, literally freaking out over, essentially, a Bayonetta game. It's like, my gosh, cry me a river. I think my favorite thing about all this is, like, all these groups saying all this bad stuff is happening. They're literally, like, going after people, and they're trying to get them banned by harassing them. 
And it's like, you you say this group is harassing you, but literally you're going to these places to get their websites pulled down and deplatformed. It's like, you were the biggest hypocrites ever. Yeah, but if you really wanted to take away people with unrealistic expectations, you just take away Hollywood because they have so much money. They're always on the red carpet looking so amazing and perfect. Nobody could possibly attain how they look. Their lives are like perfect. They have a team of 50 trillion people poking and rotting them to get on there. They're always looking, they're in like million dollar dresses or whatever, or, or suits. So it's like, if you really want to take down a group of people that are, have unrealistic expectations that are killing people, just get rid of Hollywood then. Yeah, they'll never do that. Well, that's what they should The do. biggest mistake that we did in video games was allowing Hollywood in. That was like, it was about 15 years ago. When we started to bring Hollywood into gaming, that's when the gaming space changed for the worst. Is because you brought in all these crazy people. Before, gaming was a niched uh, thing where gamers made games for games. Or gamers made games for gamers. Like, game developers were gamers. They grew up playing games. They loved it. You know, they were inspired by it. They wanted to make their own stories. Today, mostly in the Western world, you don't have a lot of people that are actually gamers making content for people. They're not. They've already admitted it. Half of them don't even know who Super Mario is, let alone who the first female video game character was. They always say Laura Croft was the first. Completely dismissing Samus and like all this other stuff. They don't know anything about video games. In fact, they hate video games and they hate the people who make or who play the games, which is us, the gamers. So it's like before we had such a cool time where all these people grew up with like uh, Castlevania or Mega Man. And then when it came their time to shine in the 2000s, they created new franchises like Devil May Cry and all this other stuff. You know, the Uncharted games, all this stuff. Those were actually inspired by people who grew up playing video games, and they're like, you know what? I have the tools, I got the talent, I'm gonna make something interesting. That doesn't happen anymore. Because there are very few actual gamers that are developers now. And it's sad. Well, Iwata was the benchmark. Iwata was, like, a real leader that, when his company was struggling, he actually took a pay cut. You don't see the other people doing that. It's like, well, we have to let go of a thousand people. Iwata is like, hold my beer. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna shock the world. I'm taking a pay cut. I'm not firing anybody. They would never do that. Whoop. I kind of forgot how to get to him now. This I'm kind of running on fumes here, so I don't really remember what I'm supposed to do to get inside of his bubble. Let me in! There we go. I'm in! Yeah, I've, I've given up on comic books. Comic books is a lost thing. We'll, we'll never win that back. Yeah, but this whole thing with the Stellar Blade, what are they going to do? Round up every decently looking girl and herd them into, like, uh, you know... Dang it! Some kind of area where no one can see them in case people get offended by how beautiful they are. They're gonna round up all the beautiful people and put them on an island so that they won't hurt anyone. So, as you know, um, <laughs> and then you explode. Uh, um, oh I, I follow um, South Korean stuff. So they actually now, um, based on all the craziness that's happening, they um, had a. Uh, it's not a satire news show either. It was this pretty like newscaster lady. She was like, "So, the rest of the world is talking about our upcoming game, Stellar Blade, saying that our game existing is going to kill women." And the the, <laughs> oh the the South Korean news lady looks at the the TV and she's like, she just has this kind of like sad, depressed, like kind of like that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And she also went on to say, they also said that so and so, she actually named the actress who plays Stellar Blade, wow. like the so the model. In Korea. Yeah, wow. well, she said the the lady is a, a Maxim model, so she's like a famous magazine what model. Maxim is a men's magazine that's uh, universal, and apparently the lady from Stellar Blade is actually like a model from that. So they were saying like it's kind of interesting. They're saying that this lady's not real. It's like here she is, and they show pictures of her. And she's just like, the news anchor lady, she's like, this is what happens when political correctness runs wild. And she says, you create crazy people. Yeah, if that 
it's true, I don't I don't need to be rude, but it's like if that's Maybe true that through. having her that having her in the game is gonna kill women, then wouldn't having Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman also kill women? Since I've seen that movie, I should be dead watching Gal Gadot play Wonder Woman. Amazonian violence. And she's too cute in her outfit. It's actually, I am at the point of death after watching her. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, all the women watching Wonder Woman are now disappearing. Yeah, so, I mean, basically what's gonna happen, I mean, the game's gonna release, it's gonna do phenomenally well. And people are gonna... Some people will complain about it. The people that aren't gamers are gonna complain about it constantly. But then... Why didn't they say that bad girl in the... In that... Uh, Gotham Knights was gonna kill people. Because that girl was very cute in that game. What? Where does this end? Where does this end and begin? Only some game characters are gonna kill women, but others aren't? Mm. Batgirl was wearing a skin-tight outfit in that game. Yeah. It's just like, when these people what, say what this... What is the difference between those two? When, when these people say this crazy stuff, that's when you just completely discredit everything they say. Because there's, there's no helping them. They're too far gone. Like, and the sad thing is they actually believe that, you know, this is gonna cause real-world violence toward women. It's like, that's insane. What I love is when people actually go and they um, show facts that uh, violence in video games doesn't actually cause violence in society. Here's something that I remember learning in the 90s. I don't know if anyone else remembers this, but I do. I don't remember where I learned this. I thought I learned this in school of all things. But they taught me there will always be someone who is better than you. Mm -hmm. There will always be someone that is better looking than you, that has more money than you, that is better at cooking than you, that is better at, that is smarter than you, that is more athletic than you, that is better at art than you, that is better at science than you. That's what they, I remember learning that in school. They're like, you just have to keep, you know, those people are there to help you, give you, like, an inspiration to keep going and try, but you don't have to be the best at everything. It's because when we went to school, teachers reinforced that, you know, it's okay to fall and stumble sometimes. You gotta pick yourself up and keep going. Like, even if there is someone who's better and more talented than you, it doesn't mean that you don't matter. You know, it, it just means that either you got to work harder or maybe you need to do something else. It's like, they also told us, I remember one teacher that would be unheard of today. They're like, what do you want? What is your dream job? And then they would follow up. They'd be like, what would happen if you didn't get your dream job? Yes, I remember that in school mm -hmm. where they would say you have to be okay with... In fact, I remember, I don't know if this is a thing that you guys and gals remember, but I remember in school they used to have these commercials where these football players would talk about how they went for their career in football, but their parents also encouraged them to get, like, either a liberal arts or a business degree or something so they could have something to fall back on in case things didn't work out. In case they got injured or in case they didn't get picked and or something And that was like that. something that we regularly talked about mm -hmm. all the time in the, like, the time. It's like... <sighs> Lee defeated. Power of lightning! Let's do this my way. Lee just wanted to bring us into his weird little dark world. Where are you? No way. This is you. Inside the nightmare world. Yeah, exactly. This is you. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what Luke used to always tell me too, just the quest whenever I would kind of really get delusions right of grandeur and get upset real. about life. People forget there's something Let's there's a difference between fantasy and reality. What are you doing to me? In your mind you wanna be these girls wanna be as pretty as the stellar boy character, but in reality Probably gonna be a little harder. Keep talking. You're not getting away from me. No, actually, I mean, the thing is, what 
if gamers were really like this toxic group that was really bad, then they would be saying stuff like, um, this woman represents how women should look. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If this, if the people were really this toxic, they'd be like, well, this is because all women are really ugly and, you know, they suck. And this is the only girl that's acceptable. Is this still a blank character? Man. All other women. Oh, men, no. men need to look for a girl like this. But you know what? The only thing gamers are saying, we want the option to play games with attractive characters. And they're saying they say all this like really, like the detractors say some of the most profane things I've ever heard. They're like, go to these websites and look at these girls instead. It's like. Just because a girl looks attractive in video games doesn't mean some guy is, like, a sexual depraved creature like there's you a, freaks. There's a tremendous difference between going... Yeah, exactly. You don't get it. Like, I really feel like when they, when they do these things, where, when they say stuff like, you know, you need to go to these websites and look at stuff, they're just reconfirming that they're the ones that do that stuff. That's how they view women. They're the ones objectifying. But they think that they're like, you know, being these champions, saying this kind of stuff, but it's like, uh, the only thing that gamers are saying about Stellar Blade is that the lady, you know, it's cool that she exists and that she's attractive. And then all these weird detractors say some of the most disturbing, gross, um, sexist, all kinds of stuff. Someone needs to write an article about this because did you know that... I don't want to get too weird, but the industry, like, in which... Did you know that almost, like, 80% of girls that are involved in that I know this is you, industry... Yeah, of course it is. I'm always... They're even... One, one new term that they're doing is they're calling, like, um, everybody who likes Stellar Blade that they're into, like, basically dolls. No. No. Soulless no. doll women. It, and it, she's not soulless, she's a human being. Also, it's a game character. They're the ones who are into weird stuff. But I'm just saying, like, you... They're asking you to support the corn industry instead of uh, support the video game industry. But did you know that like 80% of uh, women that are involved in the corn industry, they actually kill themselves. It, and it's funny because they said that women are going to kill themselves because of a game, but in reality, the industry they're suggesting to support is the actual industry that kills women. Causes more mental harm, yep. That's hilarious that mm -hmm. they're actually asking people to support that industry when those women usually kill themselves by 30, if not 25. You can't say kill themselves. No. You've already said it. it. It's true, though. No, I mean, you can't no, use that keyword. You? You've said it like three times. You're going to get the video play. Yeah, but, I mean, these, these people, they never actually do any research. Like... The industries that actually do the most harm towards women are the ones that they support. The industry that has no actual proof of harming women, they try to destroy. It doesn't make any sense. Like, if they really cared about a woman's health and their mental health and stuff like that, then they would be really pushing hard against uh, some pretty bad stuff that, you know, is just... Women posing and things like that. Or women sleeping around and being filmed. But nope, they never go against that stuff. They always want to target gamers because, like I said, the most oppressed group in America and the biggest boogeyman is always gamers. They've been doing it for 40 years. They'll never stop either. Because they... You, the fact that now they've contacted, like, um, national security... And they have, like, companies like the NCIS and, like, um, Homeland Security, like, looking into gamers that we could be terrorists. I mean, that's how you know this administration is completely bat bonkers crazy. You know? Like, literally, this administration has put gamers under watch by Homeland Security. Do you know how nuts that is? You gotta admit that's crazy. No other administration has ever done that. I'm just saying. Poor Finn. If Spider-Man can't protect everyone, who will? Come on now. You're more than just Spider-Man. 
You can try and hide behind that mask, but I know who you uh. are. And while they're watching us, they let actual terrorists get away and harm people. Like, people who actually murder people. Like, they're wasting all of Homeland Security's resources on monitoring people who play video games and say mean things online. It's like, honestly, it's like, do your job and protect us from the people that actually, you know, are serial killers. But no! They said something mean to me! Put them on the watch list! It's like, what?! Ugh. Absolutely insane. We're literally becoming a tyrannical government. Like, literally. <clears throat> Instead of protecting us against the people who actually could harm us, they're protecting us from <laughs> people who play video games. It's <laughs> like what? That's, I'm not. He died because you decided your problems were more important than all of those people's lives. Jefferson Davis was a hero who saved people from you. Whoop. Excuse me. You already- you finished cooking everything and the oven's off? Cool. Alright guys, while well, I'm dealing with nightmare people, um, make sure you, uh, watch that short. I know mods are pushing it, but we're only at 200 views for the short. Although, good news is, Spidey's almost at 900 views. So that's good. So, likelihood of another Spider-Man stream tomorrow is, like, at this point? Uh, probably 80%. Miles. No. Yeah, I'd say about 80% likely. I'm done listening to you. I'm losing my dad? It's not what's holding me back. Yeah, you can look it up. Uh, I kid you not. There are articles where they're saying that us as gamers... Um, are a danger to Homeland Security instead of someone that's literally on the FBI or Interpol's, like, terrorist watch list. That's insane. That's a waste of resources. How can they drill who a gamer is? Do it. Please. I didn't even know this thing was real until, like, uh, I think it was like a week ago I saw it. It was like, that can't be real. That's gotta be like an April Fool's joke. Nope. 100% real. Not let them escape. They monitor what games you play and like how you interact on social media. If you're mean to people, they put you on a a, a watch list. Mm, they think that toxic gaming, or rather, um, any type of gaming, leads to this stuff. And, I mean, I don't even know if people teabag and like they ban people for all kinds of stuff in uh, gaming lobbies, but I never actually did the whole... Um, I avoided Xbox Online when Xbox had Halo back in the day because it was pretty intense. We're out looking for him now. Find Lee. Miles has to be there too. Has to be. Oh, oh. I'll go check it out. Miles Morales' mom is giving me the runaround. She's like, you need to take care of my son, Mr. Parker. Meh, 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 meh. Now Peter's gonna go crazy, I think. Hello? It's Dr. Connors. Sorry, I asked Harry for your number. Boom, boom, boom. Miles' mom goes Karen mode. Just... Venom eats her. Please. Come back to the I usually like, uh, like Miles' mom, but in this game she's kind of irritating a little bit. Especially, she's like telling Spider-Man what to do. No one listens. Wee. And then, uh, slightly annoyed Spider-Man is just like, Okay, yep, I understand. It's like, dude, no clap backing, nothing. It's like, my gosh. And especially with his emotions, like, running high and, you know, being taken over by the suit, you would think that he would do something, but nope. Missed opportunity. Whoop, 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 whoop. Because you want to know the most dangerous thing in the world, guys? I'll let you know. In 2020, the most dangerous thing you can do to anybody is be microaggressive. <laughs> microaggressive is one of the stupidest things. Oh my gosh. So when you're at when you're at a 
restaurant and the service is terrible and you don't check it's a microaggression? Yeah, uh, an example of microaggressive would be like, if the server was a jerk to you and you didn't tip them, you're microaggressive. How dare you not give them a tip? He's definitely not a New Yorker. That's right, Joseph. Even Joseph knows what I'm talking about. So you have to be a simp for everyone, then? Spider simp. Spider pushover. Spider pushover. Slightly annoyed Spider-Man. I left the best parts of me here. I'm not looking for a fight. Craven. As the other Spider-Man, trapped in an old mansion, east of the city. He saved me. Told me to find you. This was the only way I knew how. I owe him my life. And much more. If we hurry... No. You've done enough. You should be proud of him. He reminds me of you. Reminds him of me. He doesn't even know me. Or Miles. A little bit of help now, all of a sudden he's a good guy. As soon as Miles is safe, Lee's going back in a cell. Not now, MJ. Is Spider-Man doing more harm than good? How about now? Now who needs the old Spider-Man? What's so great about the new Spider-Man anyway? He can't even stop some hunters. They destroyed the EMF. Destroyed my life. I'm going to lose May's house because of them and... Craven. See, you got Venom talking to Spidey, but he's not, like, actually responding afterwards. It's like, says, kill Craven, and then it's like you're waiting for Spider-Man to say a follow-up. Like, no, I, I can't do that, I'm Spider-Man. Then you could add a Venom say it again, like, kill Craven. It's like, he's not talking back to the voice in his head, he's just, like, it just ends there. It's like they could have done so much more to, to build up on, oh, he's losing his mind. And now I just heard the voice once, it's fine. So do you think that... The voice was just there one time. Like Spider-Man 2 didn't get Game of the Year. Huh? It can be? No. Spider-Man 2, it was a nominated, but, you oh, know. Game, game Awards is over. Yeah, this was a 2023 game, Amber. It was like six months later they did the, ow, New Game Plus mode, which is what I'm playing. I'm hoping they do DLC for this, but... I wonder if the little spider will survive. Where is he? They cut a lot of Venom's dialogue in the game? Oh wow, that makes sense. Yeah, Venom was probably too mean. Probably said things that were too extreme for the 2020s. Who knows? I mean, I already know they removed uh, all the cool... Um... There we go, see? Pete's getting angry. There you go. Need more of that. Need more, more, more. Yeah! Meanwhile, Amber's chomping on bread in the background.
I'm assured that material is unbreakable. But I believe anything can be broken. <laughs> Angry Spidey. Let us make this a glorious ending. You destroyed my city, took the lives of so many people. That was their fate, just as this is ours. <laughs> Your followers treat you like some kind No of documentaries, God. I don't want to fall asleep, honey. But you're just a dying old man, looking for a way out! Ow. So you know then, then you know I will not die in a sick bed! Only an evil may taste my last breath! Rip I'm surprised I'm not going to have one of those Your achievement in the streets! I hope you're enjoying this. Tonight won't end well for you. I study all of my prey. You are agile, intelligent, vulnerable to emotion. <laughs> so am I. Do not let the taste of power get to your head. Do not let the taste of power. Yes, because that's what this is. This is a taste of power. Come! Do not hold back! Tire you out. Wow, gadgets make this go by much faster. You are capable of. Stop hiding. Yep. Observe it. Ah, shoot. I was actually doing really well and I messed up. Let us make this a glorious one mistake. You destroyed my city. I already took the lives of so many people. Good night, okay? That was their fate. Just as this is our need more distance. Yeah. Also, make sure the cats aren't in the little room. God. But you're just a dying old man looking for a way out. So you know, then. Then you know I will not die in a sick bed. Only an equal may taste my last breath. Rip me apart and parade. Your achievement to the streets! Oh, I hope you're enjoying this. Tonight won't end well for you. I study all of my prey. You are agile, intelligent, vulnerable to emotion. So am I. Do not let the taste of power get to your head. Why were you just, like, standing there and letting me hit you? I'll show you what 
I can do. My, my. I knew she was up there. Round one. You got the giant bell going. You call me a dying old man, and yet here I free. Shut up. Come, crush my bones into powder. Leave my body for the maggots and the field mice. Shut up. Okay. Talking. And you'll regret that. No, I won't. I will not let God decide my fate. Not again. Where's the stupid bell? Alright, we've almost beaten Craven, and then we fight Miles, and then it's over. You can't run from me. Almost there. Got him. It's just me. Miles versus Pete. You almost killed him, man. What are you doing? You're in the way, Miles. Always in the way. 
I could have fixed everything! How? By strangling him? That's not what we do! Don't try to mentor me! You're the one running away from your problems! You're the one hell-bent on revenge! Revenge? All I wanted was to protect my family! Protect you! You're not better than me! I'm not saying that! You're stronger than some soup, Pete! Don't listen to it! And what? Listen to you? Yes! Listen to me! What are you so afraid of? Oh, dang. Uh. You almost killed him, man! What are you doing? You're in the way, Miles! I'm in the way, Miles. Always in the way. Ah! I could have fixed everything! How? By strangling him? That's not what we do! Don't try to mentor me! You're the one running away from your problems! You're the one hell-bent on revenge! Revenge? All I wanted was to protect my family! Protect you! You're not better than me! I'm not saying that! You're stronger than some soup, Pete! Don't listen to it! And what? Listen to you? Yes! Listen to me! What are you so afraid of? Uh oh. Oh, dang. Whoops. Why are you doing this? I made you. You owe me. I made you. I know you don't mean that. All I wanted was to save everyone. MJ. May. Now the city thinks that I'm the problem. From Bully McGuire to Crying Man. It's like getting into a Twitter argument with a comic book pro. First they're aggressive, then they cry. I'm just saying. Whoop. in power and what about MJ you could have killed her I know you're hurting Pete but you're better than this I know I know but no round three Keep dying. I blame myself for that. They needed a hero, and if I thought some suit could save them, maybe I'd be in your shoes now. But this kind of power is the reason they're gone. Not you, not me. Shut up! Yikes. Be 
<laughs> Wait, so the bell power up that you get to fight the symbiotes doesn't work on Peter? That's weird. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It's a later story item, but it's just kind of funny. Oh, gosh. Whoa! Oh, that looks so weird. The black suit over the white suit. Literal representation of good versus evil. Look at that. Ta-da! Nice save with Miles' magic thermos. Where's Miles' side quest explaining how he got the thermos? That's all I want! More Miles content! Explain! These last few days... Miles, I'm sorry. Thank you... for everything. That's what Spider-Man do. Spider-Man didn't save me back there. Miles did. <clears throat> what now? I have to talk to Dr. Connors. He said he knows how to destroy it. Wait, what about Harry? Doesn't he kind of need it? His dad is working on another cure. One that doesn't involve aliens. <laughs> You know, if you need me, I'm just a call away. Well, once I let my mom know this, she still has a son. I know. It's glad to have you back, man. Chance of another Spider-Man stream, 96%. 97%. Dr. Connors, I got the suit off. It's contained, but what do I do now? Bring it to Oscorp Tower. There's a tank there that will subdue it. I have to prep a few things first, but I'll let you know when I'm on my way. One thing before we meet. Now that the symbiote is off of you, how are you feeling? Fine. Relieved that it's over. Ashamed at what I did. It's not your fault. There's still so much we don't know. Just tell me right away if you feel any changes in mood, behavior... But it's off me. I'm cured, right? Very likely. Yes. Just do your best to keep that thing contained. Copy that. <sighs> okay. I've been ignoring the city for too long. Someone's reporting something dangerous in their yard. Sounds like a job for me.
haven't told MJ yet. <sighs> Hello? MJ, I got the suit off. And I'm so sorry for... Go on. For treating you and everyone I care about like absolute crap. I'm heading to Oscorp to store the suit until Dr. Connors and I can figure out what to do. Does Harry know? No. But Norman's been working on an alternate cure that's showing real promise. We can still... We will save Harry. Well, it's a relief to hear you sounding like yourself again. Go wrap things up. I'll see you at home. Huh. Got a lot more apologies to make when this is all settled. One thing at a time. Uh, no, I'm not doing an ultimate tonight because I have a appointment tomorrow morning um, with a... Uh, but I can't talk about it. Let's just say it's related to the um, DDoS stuff. I have an appointment that I, I can't miss. So um, this is my last stream of the night, unfortunately. Um, but... Okay. Oh, never mind. I'm heading over to Oscorp Tower now. Right. See you there. Stop talking to me, Connors. Um, yeah, we're just going to save. Oof. Spider-Man stream happening tomorrow. Final Fantasy stream is being set up. Um, I don't, I don't know about some of the other stuff. Also, um, Game Wing, I don't have your uh, which which version of Xenoverse because I haven't even installed it yet. So I I need to know which version. <clears throat> and then I can uh, get back to you uh, to schedule a time. Did I save? I can't even tell if I saved. I'm really not awake tonight. The first one? Okay, yeah, I have Xenoverse 2 on Switch, so I'll have to get the first one. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals, uh, you guys are getting another Spider-Man stream tomorrow. Final Fantasy should be set up now. Oh, wait, no, it's not set up yet. I need to do that. Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. Um. So if you guys um, want Ace Attorney... It needs, uh... <laughs> ah. You guys want Ace Attorney? Ace Attorney needs, um... Uh... A hundred views. Um, Freedom Planet needs 230. Spider-Man needs... 10. Like, 10 views. <laughs> um, but yeah. Final Fantasy tomorrow, Ace Attorney is possible. Um, and Final Fantasy. So, definite right now, Final Fantasy, Spider-Man, and maybe Ace Attorney. Alright guys, God bless, happy gaming, have a great night. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, continue to watch the YouTube short if you can. Um, uh, we got the YouTube short up to 315 views after an hour. Hour and 50, almost two hours. It's a little behind what we normally do, but it's pretty good. Uh Is that yeah. set this up. So we did a lot of uh, story progression for Spider-Man tonight. That was fun. And tomorrow will be uh, more story, a little bit of side quest stuff. You know, all that fun stuff. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. And have a fantastic night. And I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Later.